But no, I wasn't going to make this video, man, to be on some real stuff. But I'm going to make this video because the truth need to come to the light. You know what? WWE don't want the fans to really know what's really going on with the company. But I know what's really going on with the company. And I'm going to share my information with all my subscribers, future subscribers, haters, whatever. Some people going to like this video and some people may not like this video. But for the ones who don't like the video, I don't give a fuck. So go fuck yourself. For the people who want to hear the truth, this is for y'all. You know why WWE programming is so shitty and so fucked up in the way it is today? Because Vince McMahon wants the casual viewers. For all you people who go on WWEshop.com and buy all these merchandises and etc. They don't care about you. That's the truth. They do not care about you. And to prove this, some of y'all may think, well, that's not true. That's not true. You're just making this up. No, because I got proof of this. This is how I know that they don't care about you and that they care more about the casual fan. Now, back in the 90s, you know, you had the attitude there where you had the WCW versus Monday Night Wars, whatever the hell you want to call it, the Monday Night Wars. Yeah, the Monday Night Wars. You had ECW, you had a lot of wrestling. And remember when wrestling used to be cutting edge, where they used to cuss and have good storylines and good dialogues and basically everything you could ever want in wrestling? Well, the truth is back then, that was when everybody used to watch wrestling. That was back then when everybody used to check out WWE and WCW and ECW and etc. Now, what do you get? PG bullshit, like Hornswoggle versus the Bull and the Bunny, and you, you know the PG crap, I don't gotta break it down, y'all watch wrestling, so I'm pretty sure y'all know, and y'all see this, remember when Divas matches used to be so great, like Trish and Lita, and um the other good wrestlers, like the Fabulous Moolah, and um the other people, and you know, Mae Young, and etc., now, all you get is two-minute diva matches and sometimes three-minute diva matches. You know why? Because Vince McMahon does not care about y'all. And this is the truth. Now, you got NXT. They're doing great down in NXT. I will give them respect for that because they are doing good down there. But as far as mainstream wrestling like WWE, and I'm going to talk about TNA in another video because they don't care about you guys either. And I'm going to explain why, <clears throat> but this is about WWE. Now, to prove a point, which I just did with, you know, why WWE programming is shitty and, you know, etc. Now I'm going to talk about the Royal Rumble scandal. The Royal Rumble scandal. Now, you wrestling fans, you hardcore wrestling fans who buy the merchandise every time they come out with new merch on WWEshop.com. The people who go to these events every single time, spending their hard-earned money for the good seats, the middle seats, and the cheap seats. They don't care about you. Because for one, I know some of y'all are Daniel Bryan fans. And majority of hardcore wrestling fans, well I ain't gonna say everyone, but majority of them wanted Daniel Bryan to win. Now, when Daniel Bryan got eliminated, this is the proof right here. WWE just gave y'all the biggest middle finger in the world. And you know why they did that? Because they know that they, they don't care about y'all because they know y'all not going anywhere. Y'all will always be dedicated and loyal to them because they can do whatever they want with you. They can get the fucking lube and shove it up your ass because they know you're not going anywhere. This is the truth. Why do you think that they stopped Punk's momentum in 2011? I really didn't think about this, but I really had to sit back and analyze everything. And now I see they don't care about their fans, their hardcore fans. They only care about the casual viewer. And if you don't know what casual viewer is, let me break it down. They care about the people who watch basketball, who watch football, who watch anything besides wrestling. 
That's who Vince McMahon wants to please. Why do you think Roman Reigns won the Royal Rumble? Just think about it. Just think about it. Just listen to what I'm saying before you start disliking and start being a fucking pussy over the net. Just think about it. Why do you think Roman Reigns won? Think about it. Because he's The Rock's cousin. And think about it. You got Brock Lesnar. Now, really think about this. Let this process in your brain real quick. This is why they let Roman Reigns win. Because he's The Rock's cousin. And they can basically promote him. They can actually market Roman Reigns. For instance, they could say, check out The Rock's cousin at WrestleMania, where he will face Brock Lesnar, former UFC world champion, and the guy who beat The Undertaker to put 21 and 1. Now, think about that. That's marketing. Now, for Daniel Bryan, what can you say about Daniel Bryan that's going to capture the casual viewer? Nothing. Because they, what can they say about Daniel Bryan? Name one thing. Besides, he wrestled all over the world, which casual viewers don't know. Um, that Daniel Bryan is the most, I guess he's the most technical wrestler so far to step in the ring. I don't know if that's true or not. But that's what people online says about him. So, if, if they trying to market Daniel Bryan, what are they going to say besides that? And the casual viewer don't know nothing about that. So that's why Roman Reigns won the Royal Rumble. Because they got to market it, Roman Reigns. They got to get, they got to fill the asses. And they got to fill everything else to get people to buy WrestleMania. To put asses in seats. And they know Daniel Bryan cannot put asses in seats. For hardcore wrestling fans or for people who love indie wrestling, yeah, you could do that. Because it's easy. Now, what else can you say? It's just WWE does not care about y'all. They care about the casual viewer. They care about the guys who only watch wrestling when basketball and football season and baseball season is not around. That's who they care about. That's why you get these shitty matches. This is why Roman Reigns won the Royal Rumble. This is why that... And you know what? Put this in your brain too. At Fastlane, this will determine if WWE really cares about y'all. If Roman Reigns defeats Daniel Bryan, this will prove without a shadow of a doubt that what I just said right now is the truth. WWE does not care about you. They know they got you because you buy the merchandise. You support everything they put out. The keychains, the, the um baby clothes, the hoodies, the um backpacks, the wristbands, the watches. They know they got you because you will buy anything that comes out. But the casual viewer will not buy none of that shit. They will buy football stuff. They will do this and that. That's who Vince McMahon wants to please. The casual viewer. And how do you capture the casual viewer? By saying, The Rock. Okay? Everybody know who The Rock is. The Rock's cousin will headline WrestleMania. You see how heavy they was talking about his family. You see how they kept bringing up the Usos, Rikishi, and all his family. I don't got to keep explaining this to y'all. WWE don't care about y'all. They don't care. And I'm just telling you the truth. If you go, if you go thumb down this, go ahead, thumbs down it. Because WWE love people like that. Why you think the wrestling games were shitty and shitty and shittier every year? Think about it. Because they know the casual fans are not going to buy their wrestling games. Why you think? That's why when I be making my rant videos, dissing the, the game, the wrestling games, I see why now. Because Vince McMahon want to target the casual viewer and the casual game player. That's where the money is. They know they got your money because you will support anything they put out. They can shit in the bowl and put a John Cena hat or a Daniel Bryan hat or whoever your favorite wrestler's hat and you will go buy it. So, yeah, that's the truth. I had to I had to put this out there, man. I had to. I couldn't sit back and just let this go by any longer. So, at WWE Fastlane, you got Daniel Bryan. Versus Roman Reigns. 
if Roman Reigns win, everything I just said is true. Basically, the casual viewer is the winner. If Daniel Bryan wins, that proves that WWE gives a fuck about y'all. And WWE loves y'all. Well, I guess we'll find out. But I'm going to say this now. My money's on Roman Reigns. Because think about it. WrestleMania got a sale. They got to put asses in seats. And Daniel Bryan does not put asses in seats. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, hey, if this was indie wrestling, hey, of course, the hardcore wrestling fan will always win. But this is not. This is mainstream wrestling. And the casual viewer is always the right one. It's up to you to believe what you want to believe. And I'm the Sam Punk brand. A.K. the Ultimate Ranner. A.K. the Ultimate Shooter. A.K. the real voice of the YouTube population. A.K.A. the true speaker. And I just had to share that with y'all. With my subscribers. You know, you sound off in the comment section if y'all want. Thumbs up the video if you agree with everything I say. Dislike the video if you don't. That's fine. Just remember, at WWE Fastlane, Roman Reigns will win. Because WrestleMania is the biggest event in WWE history. And they got to put asses in seats. They got to get the casual viewers to watch. So, just think about it. All they got to do. Just like I said, I'll break it down before I before I cut the video off. Roman Reigns, The Rock's cousin, that speaks money right there in the casual viewer. The Rock's cousin. Daniel Bryan, what can they say about him? How would they market him if he would, if he would beat Roman Reigns? How would they market him? It's up to you to believe what you want. Thank you for watching my channel. Y'all be blessed. Peace. Make sure you subscribe if you want.